Hello, everybody. I just wanted to jump in and very quickly, maybe not so quickly, but quickly-ish, explain a little bit about Page Turner's Adventure Library. I've been getting some questions about it, and I wanted to just kind of answer some of them here. Um, so Page Turner's Adventure Library is an online library filled with, right now, 15 adventures with more on the way. And each adventure has seven different activities. We're calling these our seven way stories um, because they have either an ebook or an audiobook, the show, a craft, a recipe, a puppet kit, or a, um, a field trip, or an author interview, or all different variations on those. Um, <clears throat> And these are some of my favorite adventures from the past few summers. So yes, you might have seen some of these. Some of them might look a little familiar. Uh, again, we're taking some of, my, some of my absolute favorite ones and putting them here because um, not everybody got a chance to see these. And even if kids have seen them before, it was quite a while ago, and I think they'll enjoy them again. And um, I want to tell you a few different ways that you can use this. So I know, you know, we originally started doing our virtual summer reading programs during the pandemic when everybody needed content. And now a lot of people are doing in library programs, which is awesome. But you can use this content for in library programs. And there's a few different ways that you can do that. You can use an entire adventure and you can show the video, which is nice because they're usually 10, 15, maybe 30 minutes long, but they're short. And then you can do a craft that goes along with it. And then you can do the puppets that go along with it. And then you can do a recipe. They're all no bake recipes with ingredients that you can do right in the library. Um, and you can do some of the other activities and you can have an entire program just with that adventure. So it's kind of a built-in ready to go. It's there for you, whatever you need. And uh, the handouts are all there. You can just print them out, download them. You've got all the directions ready to go. Um, or you can just use it for inspiration. If you are looking for like a pirate craft, if you're going to do a pirate week, uh, we've got some pirate crafts some pirate activities and a pirate show, which is one of my favorites. Um, but you can, you know, just take a look, get an idea <clears throat> for the craft download the directions and you have all of that right there for you. So that's a couple of different ways you can do it for in-library programming. But also we do have an online version that you can share with patrons. Now you can't just share the videos online, although I am giving you all different kinds of preview videos and um, just lots of other material materials in the media kit to promote the stuff online. But you can give all of your patrons, if you sign up for at least the three month subscription, <clears throat> excuse me, then you can get um, at least a three month uh, free access for your patrons. And what that means is they essentially get a free subscription to our home version. So you're just giving them as many as you want, unlimited, give free subscriptions out and you will get uh, you are a separate URL for your library, a separate password for your library that you can give to your patrons. And so, yes, you will be able to get some stats. I'm trying to get into even more nitty gritty stats, but you will at least be able to know how many people went um, and signed up for your program, for your web page, for your uh, library. So you'll get those stats. You'll know you'll be able to count the people and give them this amazing program. If I do say so myself, I think it's pretty exciting. And you're giving it to them for free, which normally, you know, people would have to pay. And if you're a parent watching this, uh, check out your library. Hopefully they've signed up for this and we'll give it to you for free. And if not, we will have a program that everybody can sign up for. Uh, even individuals will have that coming soon. It's also great for homeschools and schools and, uh, you know, We'll talk about all that later. Right now, I want to just talk about the library program. So uh, I want to show you just very quickly what we have uh, coming your way. And so take a look at the website. Here it is. Okay, so when you log into the site, when you get your username and password, this is where you'll come. It's our adventure library filled with all of these adventures. Each one of these little thumbnails is an adventure. And there are 15 of them, but there's more than 15 things to do. Because if you click on one, for example, start the adventure. This is 20,000 Books Under the Sea, episode one. There are four episodes in the 20,000 Books Under the Sea. And the first thing that you'll see is 
the show. This one is almost 20, is 21 minutes. So they're all, you know, all the shows and stories are generally about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, some are a half hour, but they're nice and uh, it's a good length to be able to show kids and they're all really fun and um, appropriate and uh, age appropriate. But when you scroll down, so you can watch the show there, you can watch full screen and there are other activities here. There's the music video, there's a tail snail craft video. And under that you'll notice are the craft directions. There's some fun, uh, fun facts and quizzes. We have an author interview in this one. We have a recipe, we have a field trip and they all have different activities. And we're calling these seven way adventures. So everything has seven different things that you can do in it because I don't know, seven's a fun number and I like seven way stories, seven way adventures. And I do want to say if you're using Beanstack or Read Squared, you will be able to download these and then upload them to Beanstack or Read Squared. In the past, they had them already loaded for you, but since we have so many now, we're working with them differently. You can download them and upload them. And we do have badges in the media kit. Um, I don't have the media kit on the website right now, but I will email that to you separately when you sign up for the program. We have our Kindly Ever After stories with stories about kindness and empathy and cooperation, Myrtle Over the Moon, which is um, uh, from our award-winning series with Myrtle and The Ocean's Got Talent, and we have our Everglades Adventure and The Smallest Show on Earth and Sofa Safari, which is super fun. So, oh, oh, and Captain Book. If you didn't see Captain Book, that is one of my favorites. That is a whole pirate adventure. We actually went out on a pirate ship to film that one, and it has a whole cast of piratey swashbuckling characters. It's a lot of fun. So check it out. You can see previews on right now on the homepage. We're going to be tweaking that a little bit, but you'll be able to see previews um, of all of the adventures. If you scroll down here, and again, we're changing this slightly, but you will be able to get to those and see all the previews for the adventures. And if you click on a preview, you will see the preview video and you'll see down here, the thumbnails tell you all of the other activities that are included in that adventure. So I hope that explains that. If you have any questions, let me know. Email me, jill at pageturneradventures.com. Love to answer your questions. Love to work with you. And, you know, my motto is when you read, every day is an adventure. So there you go. Have fun.